Hi everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again. Welcome back to my channel and for those that are new, welcome. You may have heard of all the horror stories of wedding and even formal dresses bought online that we always hear of. However, if you are aware of the pitfalls and know how to avoid them, then by buying online you can nab yourself a great bargain for what you get and not have to spend thousands of dollars and still look like you spent thousands of dollars. I got myself a customized wedding dress online for my own wedding and I saved a lot of money. The dress cost me less than $500 but I would have had to pay at least $2,000 if I had bought it from a local store. So I'm going to show you all the tricks to buying a wedding dress online successfully. I'm always wary of sizing guides from online stores. Often I find that even fashion labels have vanity measurements in them. That is, I order the sizes according to the measurements they give, but the clothes still end up being too big. So given that I generally do not trust the sizing guides, especially for something as important as your wedding dress, therefore since you can already get such great prices by buying online, you might as well get the customization option. That is, have a dress made to your measurements, so there should be no problems. Plus the beauty of getting a customized dress is that you can pick the style and color that you want, especially if you want to be more adventurous or just want to avoid white and ivory. Now the most important thing is to start looking to ordering your dress a year in advance of the wedding but no later than six months before the wedding. This early ordering is important even if the website states that you can receive it in two weeks because this is to ensure that if there's an issue with your dress you're still going to have enough time to reorder another one or even buy another one elsewhere or have time to have the alterations done. You may also need the time going backwards and forwards with the store for refunds or returns if it comes to that, or returns and refunds. I keep hearing stories of brides waiting anxiously for their dress to arrive on time and when it does and it doesn't fit, then they're in a state of panic as to what to do when the wedding is next week, etc. So don't be one of them and order early. Now, I think to note that these online stores usually just copy a dress from a designer's collection and the pictures of the model dresses are usually taken from elsewhere or, you know, the, the designer's uh, photos. So what you are really getting is a reproduction of a designer dress. Now, the better the store is, the closer the dress you receive will look like the picture. But you also need to remember that the fabric and the sequin detail will still not compare to that of the designer dress where you would have had to have paid thousands. But here you're only paying a few hundred for your copy. So be a little realistic on that point. The first thing is to search for the online store that has some reviews on them. Now you need to be realistic about it as you can't please everyone all the time and someone is always going to be unhappy. So there isn't going to be a store with 100% positive reviews, but provided the majority of it is positive, then it's enough for you to go ahead and look further into that store. For this example, I am going to be looking at JJ's house. This is a store that specializes in bridal, wedding party and bridesmaids dresses, special occasion dresses of course as well and it, this is also where I ordered my wedding dress from. Now the first instinct, we're going to go into wedding dresses here, maybe to look for a style that you like best. However with these online stores that is not the way to do it and I'm going to explain. 
yeah you can sort filter through what you like on the left here by going through price silhouette and length so filter additional criteria through or they've even got wedding venues here with their suggestions but I don't recommend doing that because their, their idea of garden and outdoor may not be your idea of what a garden and outdoor dress is <laughs> so okay so you basically you sort through whichever has the largest number of reviews or styles they've sold the most that way you're going to get some assurance that they have got experience in doing that style because usually the first attempts to make a style is not the best and they later learn from their mistakes. Therefore, it's best to wait until they've had experience with it. This is the reason not to rush in and pick the style you like best without considering this factor. So now it's time for you to read the reviews. Uh, let me see, this one, simple, it's got 107 reviews, um, but I don't know why that one's so popular. Let's go have a look at some more. Oh, this one's got three reviews and lots of love. Dress involve. Uh, all right. Well, let's just have a look at this one. Click that one. It comes up. And we will look at the reviews. Okay. Down there, that's the reviews. Look at the, well, if you'd notice, all the ratings are five star, so I'm not surprised. Okay, now bear in mind, yeah, like I said, yeah, bear in mind the store is only going to post positive reviews on the website. So the ones you, you need are the ones where the customers always also post the picture of the dress they received, like these two. Have a click that. This one's in pink. Now that looks nice. This one's in the red color. It's an older lady. But let's look for one that's actually a white one. And click on that one. That's got 10 reviews. Let's have a look down there. And we do see some wedding dresses with these reviews. Nice lady there. You can see the dress have a look at this one. Oh, okay she's posted some very nice photos there that one looks good and she's a larger figure as well so it still looks good on her and as you can see doesn't look exactly like the model the model picture but you can't expect it to because this is a model so the figure is different and you've got different lighting and so forth so you can't expect it to be the same but again it's very important to look at the product image they post because um, it's important to see what the actual dress will be or what the actual dress is after they've produced it okay now yeah so being realistic here so that one's okay looks good so we'll try another one Sifting through. Have a look at this one. As you can notice, the great prices on these, a few hundred dollars. And what happens is you get your choice of color. That's a picture, blushing pink, champagne, white, or ivory. Okay, you can pick so uh, standard sizing as well. Or you go for the custom made option and you pay more um, an initial fee, an additional fee for it to be custom. Now, this one is the actual wedding dress that I ordered. This is what it looks like. This is the picture on the JJ's website. And that new note is in champagne. She's a very thin, tall girl. And I'll show you the back. That's what it looks like in the back. You have to go upwards and downwards on this. And that's a closer image, or actually this is a closer image. That's the front and the back detailing. And this is me in the same dress. 
it doesn't look the same again because I do have a different figure from the model. I am thin somewhat, but I am not that tall. So it's going to look different on me. So it's the same dress, but it still turned out very well. I also ordered it in champagne, like the, pic like the picture. So different, but the same. Now a few final notes. Take into account any comments by the reviewers regarding the best colour for the style and take care in following the instructions from the store on how to take your measurements. Or, be, or better yet, go to a tailor and for a small fee, get them to take your measurements professionally. I have found that some minor alterations have usually been necessary, especially if you had measured it yourself but that can be easily altered at an alteration shop. So it's important to allow enough time in case you need to do that. And also in case the alteration people are quite busy. And don't be afraid to ask the store questions. And as a final note, when uh, paying, avoid paying by direct deposit as you won't get any protections then. So pay either by credit card or PayPal so you can at least dispute transactions if the dress never arrives. I hope this advice helps for those looking at buying their wedding dress online. I know it can be scary, but it can be done successfully. So good luck. If you had bought a wedding dress online, let me know what your experience was like by leaving your comments below. And if you've enjoyed the video, then don't forget to like and share. And please click the subscribe button as it will help me out a lot. So that's it for this video. Happy wedding dress hunting. And until I see you in my next video, it's bye for now.